All right, welcome back to Lifestyle Live. She's all about creating art that captures the essence of culture. Box the Artist joins us now in the studio. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay, so you're all about community. Absolutely. But before we get into that, um, how did this all get started for you? Well, that's a very interesting story, but to save the matter of time for the segment, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pretty much uh, moved to Indianapolis and um, trying to figure everything out all over, experience the layoff, corporate America uh, do, did marketing. Mm -hmm. So um, I just wanted to figure out something. What could I do every day and not get tired of it? And um, art was something that immediately came to me. Yeah. Um, I would post pictures online. People would ask me, oh, can I purchase this? And mm -hmm. That was pretty much the ding for me. Like, okay. I would assume that it. would be the ding. Like, hey, you want to, <laughs> can I pay for this? Sure. <laughs> well, and, and you work in a really unique medium because you, you start off the, these, these digital pieces that are behind us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You start off on an iPad. Yes, yes. And then eventually that is transferred to Canvas. Tell us about that process. Yes. Yeah, so it's a very new process that I just learned about two years ago. And it's the exact same process as if I was painting on a canvas. You do it, still do it layer by layer. It's just a little less messy and a little less expensive. Uh, so you just start out with whatever idea that you have in mind and you create from there and just build it on out. Then I transfer that to the canvas. And once it's on the canvas, I typically just add my textures, my details, and really just put my final touches on it. You love involving the community. How did, how did that become a thing? Well, when I first started out, I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm doing, you know, open mics, community events, mm -hmm. vendor style events, and I would always go out and just be with community. Um, new to a new city, didn't really know anybody. So um, I would always, I started out bringing, you know, smaller canvases, and I would do live paintings. And I'm, I'm like, you know, how can I incorporate the community with this? Because there was always so many questions and just interest. So I started bringing out larger canvases and allowing them to paint on it as well. So you'll get something that looks like this mm -hmm. and people can put whatever their heart desires just to create in that moment and express. That's a neat, I, I, I love the fact that you've got all this sort of overlapping stuff. How many different artists do you think we've got here? Bob oh Bart? my God, this uh, has been to a few different events, so um, maybe maybe about a hundred. Someone will come wow, up and wow. just put a small mark. Somebody yeah. will write their name. We have a name right here. I just uh, or add dots in. It's just small details. It doesn't have to be a major, you know, masterpiece, yeah. but just to leave their input and it matters as well. What does it do to you to be able to say, people are involved in what I do and. and and the reaction that, that you get from people when they're, they're involved in just a little bit of what you're doing. I mean, it's just a rewarding uh, process to um, be able to have a creative outlet in general. You know, uh, I always um, promote people using different things as de-stressors and to just constantly stay grounded and just find something that you truly enjoy doing. So a lot of people may be introduced to art for the first time through something like this and actually creating, you know, on a canvas with uh, paint. So it's just a, a rewarding process can, to be able to can, do that. Can I add to that? Look at <laughs> Absolutely. George has been leaning the whole second like, can I? Can I? Yeah, he showed me some of his paintings uh, yeah, he's this nice. morning, so I'm very excited to see what you're going to do. Uh, he's the least likely to mess this up. Well, I, don't, I, I was just thinking about taking like a, uh, like oh, a yeah. bright For sure, maybe. for sure. The, ye the yellow is perfect. So what we'll do, get up and I, can I just layer Can I just Give layer that melee magic. Okay. Go ahead. Right, I'm just going to. Look at him. He looks like he's done this before almost. Beautiful, George. Beautiful. <laughs> Box, there's only one person you can't let up here. It's Randy Ollis. He'll mess the whole thing up. <laughs> the great thing about art is you can never mess up. There you go. I don't know, That's Randy. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't yeah, know. You just, you, you just <laughs> express yourself, right? Yeah, it's definitely self expression. And you can always paint over it if you do think it's messed up. Yeah, yeah like if Randy did it. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what I'm trying to do here is just add a horse, just a kind of a... Yeah, it's, it's horsing. Yeah, so I don't know. George, so George is adding a horse.